The internet snobs ain't too happy. So apparently Frank Ocean performed at Coachella and pissed everyone off with his performance. Now me, you know, an OVO fan, a Drake fan, you know what I'm saying? I'm laughing my ass off. You know, I'm having a good laugh today because y'all, Frank, Kid Cudi, Tyler, I'm a Tyler fan, but still. Yay fans, that little end of the internet, y'all like pompous, you know, snotty, upturned nose dweebs took an L at the hands of your own favorite artist, Frank Ocean. Here's what this man did. So here's what happened with Frank. Frank Ocean canceled second Coachella performance after backlash to chaotic first show. The singer says his first performance isn't what he intended after a late start, sudden finish, and reports of an ice rink stage being dismantled hours before. Frank Ocean has canceled his second performance scheduled for this week at Coachella, a week after his first performance, his first live show in six years, left many fans disappointed and confused. A representative for the musician confirmed to Rolling Stone on Wednesday night that the upcoming performance had been canceled because the singer had suffered a leg injury before the festival's first week. The singer has received medical advice not to perform again due to two fractures and a sprain in his left leg, the representative added. Ocean said it was chaotic. There is some beauty in chaos. It isn't what I intended to show, but I enjoy being out there and I'll see you soon. There's some beauty in chaos is crazy. Your favorite artist who hasn't performed in six years saying that there's beauty in the chaos of him showing up for the first time in six years and everything going wrong? Y'all Frank Ocean fans is going out sad. You know that little, that little, uh, that time that y'all booed Drake off stage? That's not aging too well right now. <laughs> it's not aging too well. Ocean's headliner performance at Coachella last Sunday was his first show since 2017. He was originally set to headline the festival in 2020 before the pandemic hit, and it was rescheduled for 2023. But the highly anticipated performance began to provoke anger when it was announced that it would be, not be live-streamed on the Coachella YouTube channel, unlike the other performances. See, Frank Ocean made too many stupid decisions. You decide not to live-stream your first performance in six years? That's kind of tasteless. Then you have the ice rink shit you had fucking planned. You took that down too. That's now you're pushing it. Now you're pushing it. The singer took to the stage an hour after his scheduled start time at about 11 p.m. local time. With Ocean briefly, he left out several hit songs and used a vocal track for others, openly miming along. That's crazy. That is crazy. This man has not performed in six years. Now, of course. He was supposed to perform in 2020. His younger brother passed away. You know, rest in peace and respect to the family and Frank Ocean. But damn, Frank Ocean had been gone for a while even before his brother passed away. Y'all Frank Ocean fans is down bad. This nigga took to the stage an hour after his scheduled start time. Imagine being gone for like however, like six fucking years, bro. And you wait for an hour to hop on stage. That's crazy. He left out several hit songs and used a vocal track for others openly miming along. That is crazy. This is crazy. The show then abruptly ended due to the festival's strict Sunday midnight curfew with Ocean briefly walking off stage before returning to announce that the show was over? Yo. It just gets worse over and over. If he hadn't been late like that, though, they, it, it, the curfew thing wouldn't have been a problem. Since then, reports have emerged that Ocean was originally set to perform on a custom-built ice rink with more than 100 skaters around him. But the stage was dismantled just hours before the performance when it became apparent that Ocean's injury would not allow him to safely perform on the ice. Instead, 30 of the skaters paced the stage in custom Prada outfits and face paint. Dan and Chris Powers, brothers and former hockey players who say they were hired to skate in the performance, said on Thursday that they had spent a month rehearsing for the show with about 120 other skaters in Los Angeles and had taken part in a successful dress rehearsal at Coachella only for most of them to be told that their services were no longer required hours before the show. Yo, this is crazy, bro. Yo, you nerd ass niggas is down bad right now. You suck ass niggas ain't, yo. You little nerd pompous dweebs that just like always shit talk the goat, Drake. Now look at y'all. Y'all down bad. Aubrey would never. Those figure skaters got cut not because there was an ice issue, not because there was something wrong. There was no malfunction. 
Ocean just straight up was like, fuck this, I'm not doing this anymore. And to those 120 people he had bust out here, he was just like, you guys aren't doing shit now. So it was just like a wild flip. When the brothers arrived for wardrobe and makeup, they ran into some of the Olympic figure skaters. They had a disgruntled look on their face, and they casually mentioned to us that they just got a phone call saying they've been cut from the show. So we're sitting there, it's like, what the fuck is happening right now? These Olympians just got cut from this Coachella performance with Frank Ocean, and they think that we're going to go on? You're saying goodbye to these skaters, but a bunch of dipshit former hockey players are going to go up on that stage and buzz around? So we're already getting bad vibes here. The brothers said that they had been told at 4 p.m. that the organizers were trying to undercover rip out this ice rink stage because they don't want anyone to know it was there. But both praised Ocean's commitment during rehearsals, with Chris Powers saying he really cares about the production, he had a very clear vision, and even though that vision changed a lot, he was always on us, helping us, making sure that everyone hit what he was picturing in his mind. Ocean and his representatives have not responded to questions about the original plans for the show. The singer who released his last album, Blonde, in 2016, <laughs> has re last released new music in 2020, two tracks, Dear April and Cayendo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you Frank Ocean fans are sick right now. I get it. I, I know. I get it. I really do. I'd understand, too. I'd be sick, too. If I was a Frank Ocean fan, I get it. I understand. Luckily for me, I'm not a Frank Ocean fan, so this is not a problem for me. I don't have to deal with this, but woo, is y'all niggas down bad right now. You know, after hearing all this shit about Drake is overrated, Drake this, Drake that, you know, it's funny to see that, you know, these, you know, a lot of these artists that the snobby, you, you know, community on the internet loves so much, these niggas are unhinged. The only one who, the only two that aren't unhinged is Kendrick and Tyler. And Kendrick was gone for like five years. Like Tyler, despite being the, the craziest one in the past seems like the most stable one out of all of them. Kid Cudi, crazy. Yay, let's not even go. Like, it, I don't even have to speak to that. Frank Ocean, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there with him. Fucking, bro, they're all crazy. Kendrick was gone for like five years doing God knows what. We ain't gotta, over here, on this end of shit, we don't gotta deal with this shit. Us Drake fans, we ain't gotta deal with that. But reading like all the shit that Frank Ocean was supposed to do, but just decided not to do, showing up late despite the fact that there was a clear and brutally enforced curfew, like, just all the shit that he did, like, I understand he's mourning the loss of his brother, I mean, I can't even imagine, you know, that kind of loss, but for this man to, to just, like, treat his fans like that, to be gone for six years, to have only drop two songs in the last three years, and to just sit there and, per and, and set up a performance like that is just crazy to me. It's like the fans are the only reason why any of these artists are successful. It applies to all entertainers. All entertainers are completely reliant upon the fans. Whether it's Drake, Joe Rogan, Frank Ocean, it don't matter who. We're all, all of us. <laughs> Whether you're a content creator on YouTube, a rapper, an actor, a podcaster, all of us in the game of entertainment are dependent upon the viewer, the fans, the listeners. And Frank Ocean basically showed his fans, there's no point in you coming out to see me. Because anytime you do, it's going to be a waste of your time. And I'm very rarely ever going to perform. But when I do, it'll probably be a waste of your time and money. Shit is sad, but hey, I mean, you know, it is what it is, bro. Us Drake fans don't got to deal with this shit. We get new music every single year. Some of it good, some of it bad. But we get new music all year. Decent music. Sometimes amazing, great music. We've got classic albums in the catalog. So Far Gone, Thank Me Later, Take Care, Nothing Was the Same. If you're reading this, it's too late. Views. But, bro, we got classics. Scorpion. We got classics. We got, cl bro, we don't, we're good. We got a tour coming up in July. Y'all niggas, y'all can't even find y'all favorite artists. Y'all even know where them niggas at. Y'all y'all still searching. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas are still, y'all doing ass niggas, bro. I'm sorry, I'm just having my moment because I've been on this internet losing my fucking mind at the amount of Drake slander I've seen from this end of the internet. These Frank Ocean, Tyler type niggas. And now the chickens have come home to roost. You suck ass niggas, now y'all gotta, gotta live this shit. Y'all gotta handle this shit. Y'all got problems with this shit. It's just, it's just unfortunate that he did y'all like that. Six years gone and this is his first performance, bro. It's fucking sad, bro. 
fucking sad. It's crazy. I can't relate to that, but it's unfortunate. If you're a Frank Ocean fan and you want smoke, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Any Drake fans, let's form up. Let's let's form up a let's form up a defensive position because you know, let the raw nigga see this video. It's gonna be a war in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.